Song Grab is good? All the time. All the time. Amen. Um, in John chapter 7, verse 37, 39, it says, On the final and climatic day of the feast, Jesus took his stand. He cried out, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. Amen. Rivers of living water will brim and spill out of the depths of anyone who believes in me this way, just as the scripture says. Now he said this in regard to the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were about to receive. The Spirit had not been given because Jesus had not been glorified. Amen? Amen. But to mo this morning we're going to glorify God. Amen? Because who do we receive? We receive Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. And um, the actual song that we're going to do today to glorify our Lord God is called Deep Cries Out to Deep. Amen. Following on to Sipa's um, scripture this, um, this morning, don't be satisfied where you are right now. We need to go deeper. Amen. And despite how many times we've done this action song, we're still on the surface. Amen. And we still need to go deeper. Amen, you? Amen. So this morning we're going to do Deep Cries Out to Deep. Yeah. 
his father and a servant his master if I am a father where is my honor if I am a master where is the respect to do me says the Lord Almighty it is you O priest you show contempt for my name but you ask how have we shown contempt for your name? I find it really hard to read that verse. The title of the message today says, Now is not the time to loosen your grip. Now is not the time to rest. Sorry, but you're not here to rest. Before I carry on to the little dakoni that I have, I'm just gonna uh, put into perspective the state that the Israelites was in at this time. At this time in the Bible, Israel was doing pretty good. They came out of that. Uh, if you remember the last time I was talking to you guys, um, they were trying to build their temple. They were past that time now. And this time, <coughs> so they're back from the exile. They're all sweet from that. They built their temple. They've done that too. Now the generations of Israel was doing pretty good. They, they weren't sinning as much. They, they weren't doing the really bad stuff. Like they weren't sacrificing to the old idols that they had. They, they weren't um, doing the old practices they had. The only problems that they had were small things like divorce and family feuds and little arguments here and there. So it sounded pretty good. But in our service of God, does it seem sometimes when we're serving Him that we're just going through the motions? Like you're doing the same thing week in, week out. Same thing day in, day out. Doing the same sort of worship day in, day out. Does it feel like that we're reading the Bible, but we're getting the same message day in, day out? Well, that's what Malachi, he wanted to, he wanted to let the Israelites know. Like, we came through the physical battle when the Babylonians and the Persians were attacking us. Now it's the spiritual battle now. Keeping on, keeping on. You know what I mean? Amen. Now, when it gets to that point, so we've come out of the exile, meaning we've come out of darkness, like we're no longer of the world anymore. So that part's good. We came and we built our connection with God, then everything's all good. Then when, 
We're changing our lives. We're not getting, we're not sitting anymore. That's what I'm trying to say. But see, everybody forgets when we pray for peace, God gives us that peace, then what do we do with it? We just chill and relax with it, don't we? Like, when we're not in trouble, we stop praying. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, we're not in trouble anymore. We become content. We fear my leader. It's like, what's the use of praying for anymore? It's like, God's going to look after me anyway. I was in the desert for 40 years and now I'm over here now. So, what's the use of praying now? I'm sweet. God's going to look after me anyway. That's where we get to, that's where we get in trouble. Because, as myself as a Christian, I feel like I'm in that spot right now. Like, I've come out of the exile. I've built my temple with God. I, I try not to sin. But yet, I read this Bible and I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting that rejuvenation that I, that I got the first time. Do you guys remember that first time? When you first felt the touch of God? Felt good, huh? Like, it felt mean. Like, like acknowledge it. It felt mean, huh? Amen. Like, does it still feel the same? A little? The reason why I bring this up to you is that we have shorter spans of attention than the elders. They've come through what we have come through. But where we are content, it seems like they're not. It seems like when we build our temple, that's enough for us. Like when we chill here, that's enough for me. Like me right now, I could just like give up this layout stuff and now I'm sweet, at least I've gotten up there and said a few things, hopefully saved the soul or, soul or two. Like, that's where we become content. And then we start praying to our God and asking Him for strength, asking Him for new messages. But when we do, when we get, when we, when we are content in His name, He gets more fish, yeah. He gets moffy at that stuff. He don't like that stuff. When you, like, God wants a relationship, huh? And like, and when you start praying, it's like, you're not texting me no more. What's up? You're the love of my life and you're not texting me anymore. What's up? When I read this verse, it's like a complaint. God's complaining about us. How dare I, a speck of dust, offend the king of the universe? Listen to what he said. A son honors his father, and a servant his master. If I am a father, where is the honor due me? If I am a master, where is the respect due me? Guys, in this service, it's hard. It's really hard, but if you turn to chapter chapter 3, verse 10, God says, try me. Chapter 3, verse 10. You can all turn there, please. This is what God says. This is what I mean about not loosening the grip. This is what God says. And I think Vika uh, has also given us this verse that goes, Bring the whole tith into the, into the storehouse, that there may be food in the house. Test me in this, says the Lord. And I see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that you will not have room enough for it. It is not the time to loosen the grip. Do not be content with where you are. Amen. Youth, do not think that this is another honor for it. This, this is not our honor, youth. Let's give him his praise. Do not be content with, with giving him his praise. Let's give him his praise that he deserves. My Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.